it Sir Tap Tap, and I just got a achievement for checking my journal. I shouldn't be surprised. I honestly don't um, have any problem with a lot of achievements for doing silly things like starting the game or opening the options menu and stuff. Um, that is actually secretly data tracking. Uh, I don't mean secretly in a nefarious way, but it's clever. It lets devs see like, oh, 50% of people open the journal. That's not bad. Or like, oh, 0.5% of people open the journal. Maybe we should point that, you know, point to that or something. Um... Are we going to the next? I think we're going to the next thing, right? It's it's been a while since the last video. Um, it's yeah, a teeny bit disoriented. I just want to sneak in a cuckoo here. Okay, so the mayor didn't mention why I should try to help out first, but I can either find Lopez or Recives or Paxson. Uh, let's go to that beach one, I guess. It's Pokemon Sun and Moon is out. Uh, it's a good time for a nice beach adventure, right? Everybody likes the beach. That is not the beach. This is the beach. Oh, there we go. This game has the Nintendo thing where the confirm button is on the far right. Um, which is throwing me off. Even though I just played a game, I played Yoshi's Island. Which is, you know, Nintendo, obviously. I'm still not quite used to it. Anyway. Is it time to check in? Heck yeah. All right, then I better call. White Forge, this is Aleph. Can you hear, read me? Loud and clear, Aleph. Oh, hi again, Mr. Mayor. I'm at Rusty Beach. No sign of Lopez along the way here. Hopefully Loza has made it here already and is starting work on the plant now. Very well, just do your thing, Aleph. I'm sure everything will work fine. Over and out. I hear this game gets pretty, gets decently heavy. I, I've been trying not to spoil myself. I don't, I don't usually like spoilers. You know, there's some games where I don't really care too much. Uh, sometimes a spoiler will get me into a game that I didn't otherwise have interest in. But once I'm, once I own a game or I'm already convinced, like several to mention Neptunia, uh, people are like, "Oh, hey, tap tap, have you seen the new videos? Everything looks great." And I'm like, "I already ordered it. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to know. I want to find out firsthand that's great." You know, once I've made that buying decision, I'm pretty much you know. Why would I spoil things? Anyway, Setsuko. Hey, stranger. Are you one of the maintenance people from White Forge? I should tell you, I think I know what happened to the plant. Oh, well, that's convenient. The game's going to end now. The other day, a humongous creature came in lumbering from the south. It's starting to sound familiar. It's sort of shaped like a giant ox. You can feel the distant footsteps shaking on the ground. Then, what was a way off, some smaller creatures started flying out of the big one, headed towards the plant. It was quite the sight. I don't know exactly what happened, but I'm sure it had something to do with the power plant failure. Hmm. They're trying to protect the life stream. I suppose it's not really safe here. That creature could come back at any moment. Hmm. Oh, fun. Little, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, right. I forgot we can wall climb. That's how long it's been. I've forgotten basic controls. Hmm. This looks sort of like those other things, the clumps. Made of a different material. Take a sample in the container Dr. Woodsnake gave me. These don't look like oxes, so I guess they're not. I kind of figured they would be like related to whatever beast they came out of, but perhaps not. I uh, I wanted to get in one last game for tonight, and I just I decided on this because sometimes you just want a nice chill game. And it's a very chill thing. I, I want I want my channel to be more chill overall. I, I mean I think it is decently chill, but I don't really do a good job of selling the chill. I'm I'm no I'm no marketing man. I um uh, I want to get better at that, but I'll, at the same time I don't I really don't want to get better at it. But I mean I don't know. It, it's important. And if you're if you're a game dev or pretty much anybody that has to you know sell themselves, don't don't feel bad about marketing. It's it's crappy, but gotta do it. Anyway. Welcome to Rescue Beach. You deserve a rest view. Thank you, game. Actually, I have my... Does this work? No, I probably have to remap it. I have my SNES. Um, it's a iBuffalo, you know, classic gamepad. It's a Super Famicom controller, but with USB. And, um, yeah... Oh, shoot, the main path to power plant's blocked. Of course it is. I have to find an alternate route. Uh, what was I 
saying? Oh, yeah, um, wait, no, I don't know what I was saying. Um, huh? Open sesame. Oh, this seems safe. Oh, this seems very safe. Starfish. Just go into the, oh. Whoa. Oh, I am a big sucker for both of these things. For the underwater view and for the inside of a big creature thing. Oh my gosh, it is a starfish. Holy crap. No, this is a sea star. This isn't a starfish. Uh, close enough, I guess. Hello there. I am called the star view of restfish. Uh, <laughs> I'm called the star view of restfish. Can you tell that I'm tired? Ever since the ferry stopped, I have allowed the people to reach the surrounding islands through my arm passages. Oh, no need to introduce yourself. I know your name is Aleph. I am Sidekick. Means I know... I can know what you're thinking. Huh? You wish to repair the gas station, don't you? But your path is blocked by rubble. Yes. So it's got kind of a child... <laughs> rubble works in mysterious ways. Yeah, it's got sort of a childish mindset to it, I guess, which is why the no capitalization thing is there. Well, you itch my back? I itch yours. Sound good, right? Uh, what do you mean? Some of my arm passages are blocked by particle buildup and inflammation. If you can find a clara seed, you can use the clara seeds naturally occurring oil to clear my passages. Among other benefits, this will grant you access to the gas station through one of my arm passages. Am I looking for a clara seed inside of the thing? Oh, that is freaking creepy! It's got a mouth heart. It's got a mouth inside of its heart. It's a starfish's stomach. It's a good creep, though. I, I like pretty much most creep kinds of creeps. Some thick mucusy materials blocking the way. Oh, I love when games have some like more exotic locations like this. I'm so tired of like forests and fields and stuff. The forests and fields are nice, but but why not? You know, be in the organs of some like giant sea star. You know, what's some thick mucusy material? Yeah. All right. I figured this would be the way that leads to the power plant, but... Oh, right. We can swim. I was wondering what it would happen, but I guess it's just been... Ow. Long enough that I forget how these things go. Yeah, I'm faster. You're fa the purple is horizontal, I remember now. Welcome to Clear Breeze Island, part of the realization... You deserve a clear breeze. Oh, well, they have their marketing unified, don't they? Are you looking for clara seeds? You've come to the right place. This island is crawling with clara lilies. I haven't seen any mature clara lily seed pods on the exterior of this rock formation, but here's a tip. Clara lilies often for flourish in the shade. All right. So we have a mini dungeon before the real dungeon, I guess. It's a little Zelda-y. Whee! All right. Wait, what's this? Oh. Hey look, it's a patch of clara lilies. There should be some clara seed in here. I can help out the starfish with these. So let me guess, you clear out, this clears out one of each, and then we have to go to the bottom right, and the, that doesn't make sense though, because I figured the flower plant would be on the right. At least judging by the other screen, but maybe the orientation is different here. Can I just, do I just put this, do I just put this in here, or, what's this? It's the starfish's heart. Very metaphorical stomach and oddly realistic. Yeah, right there. That's it. Oh, oh yeah, put that clara seed in there. Mm. I like how no one is concerned about this giant starfish or star sea star monster. Hey, stop running around so much. Like you're so busy and important. You think you're the only one place to go and people to meet? Yes. Yes, I am. Because this is a video game and I'm the protagonist. No one no one else does anything until I do things. You you jerk. Anyway. I guess it could be said there's a dissonance be Oh. Rip. Uh, I'll check that in a second. Um, it could be said there's a dissonance between the characters and the level stuff, but really, it gives a really clear view. Um, I actually really like the, the stylistic stuff it gives, because it gives you a really clear view of what's a character, what's a thing. It's all very clear. Welcome to Sunglow Island. You deserve a Sunglow. I'm calling it. Where are the rest of you? 
You deserve a sunglass. Yeah, I see. Uh, are you dead? Oh, she's just she's just taking a face down nap in the sand. The sun is shining on me. In order to regulate my temperature, my bodily functions have slowed. If I move myself out of the sun now, I'll become uncomfortably cool. Okay, she's just she just have to stay there forever now. I'm sick and tired of with the starfish reading my thoughts all the time. Same. Freaking government starfish reading my thoughts. My name ain't Jimmy Don B. Bob Cletus if I don't hate them sea stars. Mm -hmm. If I want an arm chamber psychologist, I'd ask my mother. So why don't you stay away from it? This is just normal. This is normal thing. Just a giant sea star that reads your brain. That's, that's fine. What do you expect me to do? Starfish is the only way to get to my island. This is reminding me of Sun Moon. What's going on here? I am undertaking a lot of vital planning. This is, this is obviously what this woman would sound like in real life, yes. Which option do you think would facilitate greater gains in my workplace productivity? Postropedic ergonomic saddle seat. Oh my. Circulopedic S oscillating treadmill desk. I'm gonna go with the saddle seat. You're probably right, though I will miss the extra blood flow to my frontal cortex that will be facilitated by the circulopedic. I guess let's see what her other reply is. That's probably smart advice, but don't you think the posture page will align my vertebrae with the lower overall energy expenditures? We want kind of Swedish chef for a second there. Are we? Oh, I, I, I was expecting there to be another thing. I guess we can just clear up all the passageways. Huh. Not really sure why those are there. Considering, I guess it's just to, in case you forget that you can wall climb. If you're not in the gameplay mindset. Ah, feels so good. Oh, I was making a joke, but it's really, it actually likes it. Ah, I'm going to kink shame this giant starfish. Ah, feels so good. Maybe I should intentionally get blockages just because I love how it feels to get them removed. Uh, you never know. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm clear as you clear, baby. Oh, uh, starfish. I don't. I don't think I like you anymore. We. Starfish likes its clear seeds a bit too much. All right, that was that was the sampler, and now we. <coughs> now we sneeze. Now we go on to the main course. <coughs> Blark. Yeah, I had to cut a live stream a bit earlier today because uh, allergies and Parker. Anytime Parker's tail gets in the way, I get allergy issues. It's mostly the fall. Like, uh, it does. Is fall allergies because of pollen or is there other? I don't know. But but fall. Pretty much everything. Anytime plants are alive, pretty much I get. I get allergy issues, mostly due to the changing of seasons. I don't know exactly what it's all about, but it's annoying if, I don't, know, I don't like to worry about it too much. It's not a huge deal, but it does kind of get in the way of recording. So I don't know if, if recording becomes a bigger thing in my life than it already is, I'll probably consider it a more serious thing to look at. But I, I take allergy meds, not like prescription stuff, which I, I might consider if, but like, for now, just not recording on a bad day isn't the worst thing in the world. Oh, they're alive now. I was wondering if we would ever see enemies, so to speak, that aren't just obstacles. Oh, I see. I guess those things kind of count. I mean, they're... I, you know, it's not quite the same as an enemy, but I guess this doesn't seem like the game where, like, violence would be a major thing. You know. Ooh! Okay, so they are up in the stakes. I kind of suspected that... Huh? Oh. Don't need to go up that way. I kind of suspected that... Oh. oh, splat. Okay, so the difficulty is going up. I, I suspected that no matter which way you pick for this first... What? For this first area, that you would... Whatever the first area would be the easiest, and the second one gets difficult. Interesting. 
I obviously haven't. I, this is my first playthrough still, so I don't know if that's true exactly. If anybody knows for sure, feel free to comment. I I did a video on this, but I read all of my comments. I do strongly encourage you to comment. Just don't be a jerk. That's really the only rule regarding comments. I was too. I had too much of the the, the stuffs. All right, that's how you do that. Um, yeah, I never feel afraid to comment unless you're a jerk because if you're a jerk like even if you have a correction offer just don't be a jerk like i don't mind if people don't enjoy a particular video or you know oh hey i screwed something up um wait why didn't i respawn there oh did i avoid it or something oh oh right i forgot i have a shield oh i'm so stupid I, this is what happens when when you take a break from a game but then you come back like a week or so later you just forget the important stuff and sometimes you don't even realize. Well, I guess that's that's the whole thing about forgetting, isn't it? Yeah, I, I just did not even consider that. I haven't. Well, another thing is I haven't really needed the shield too much until now. Wait, is there secrets? Yeah, whatever. There probably isn't. This 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 hasn't been the sort of game where there'd be secrets so far. Oh, I opened the journal earlier. I guess I'll take a look at it real quick here. I've heard stories, but nothing quite compares to seeing the giant starfish arrest you and hearing it talk in your head. I think going through is the only way to reach the power plant. So yeah, it's uh, just stuff to compare about. Oh, the field notes are a little how things work. That's cool. Inventory. Red Emerald Marble. Item that allows you to interact with dreams. Okay. So we do have inventory and stuff. Doesn't seem to be a big deal so far, because, like. There we go. Progression still seems pretty one way, like non linear. Seems like a pretty pointless elevator, but whatever. Whee. I was, I was kind of worried that this game would feel a bit too easy and too, like, you know, not challenging as a platformer, but. It's so chill and, and nice, and the, it's more of a story-driven. I think if this was totally without story, then maybe I might be a little frustrated at difficulty or the lack thereof. But it's so chill, and there's great graphics to take in. There's there's chill vibes with the music. There's some story stuff. I'm mostly, you know, playing for the story, I suppose. Um, sometimes it's nice to have just a chill platformer or other whatever genre of game and just relax and enjoy it i i've been making a, a steam category just called chill and just some games like sometimes i'll i'll be in bed i like you know i want to play a video game but i don't want to be like you know breaking my butt off playing something super hard or like and sometimes i want to feel a sense of progression sometimes so grindy games can work good but Sometimes not, I'm not in the mood for grindy either. And some games that are grindy just are frustrating. Um, like Pixel Junk Monsters, I really like that game, but it's so slow and there's no speed up button. It's a tower defense game. And it's a really good one, but there's no speed up. There's none of the uh, convenience features. Like Defender's Quest DX, uh, or Valley of the Forgotten, I guess they ended up calling it. Um, I need to do a video of that sometime. It's really great. Um, set of accessibility features and like quality of life options to keep things going in case you're a little impatient like good old tap tap is here Aleph, is that you who is that lopez yes Aleph, i need your help the store shot law is working and trapped me inside just just use the crystal can you find a way to open it the crystal is right there it even has things to heal you oh my god thank you i didn't know if anybody would come for me i thought you and paxton were busy with your own plans you saved my life, Alf. I'm guessing I'm glad I came here today so you didn't, like, wait there for a few extra days. I guess you're... I'm glad you're alright, Lopez. Things have been getting really messed up with these plants lately. It's not just me. This job was never so dangerous before. Feels like the world is out to get us, you know. It's the life stream! See, I, I bet it's, like, a real thing, too. Maybe not exactly the life stream plot, but it seems we're going in that sort of general direction. Well, I just started, but I think you know what you mean. 
never thought I was able to suspect that he's superstitious. But he's wrong. Something's really wrong with Mother Nature, you know? Can we get out of here? I don't want to be in this place any longer than I needed to. I'll the best way to make the plant safe again is to stabilize it. I'll finish all the work here and then we can leave, alright? You're really brave, Aleph. I don't know you. I don't know why you can just face danger like this. I can face danger like this because there's six rooms in this plant and we only have one left. So it's not going to be a big deal. Calm down. I am the protagonist. I will save you. Ow. There we go. Oh, that opens the other door. Okay. That makes a bit more sense now. Uh huh. Oh, it's one of these. That's that's. What, I was wondering why that formation was there. I'd kind of forgotten about these two. You can still just go underwater, though. It's still a completely valid strategy. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, we gotta get all of the thingers. I remember this now. I need to bring. Oh. Easy. I do kind of feel maybe I should have picked a harder setting, but I think... Was there any harder setting that it wasn't like the speedrun mode? So I don't really want that. I want, I want the story, but no. It's, it's, it's fine. Wait, what's the deal here? I guess I could get water poisoned? Or white poisoning? get out of here oh if you use your shield you ride up even faster okay I got it okay so first I managed to get this far without knowing that but whatever oh right 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 alrighty hmm. I was thinking this one was the hardest one so far well I guess still kind of is but it's not really once I saw those huge lilies I thought this was gonna be fairly hard but still not too bad not too bad yeah, just touch those that's fine all right there we go this receptor is working now also this is a really interesting thing in that this system it allows you to have like damage without really like it's since it's a balance thing, you can take lots of hits without you know constantly draining health. Uh, I just need to fix a few things. Oh, this thing, right, right, right. Uh, all right, <laughs> very easy. Phew, looks like everything's good to go here. Time to let White Forge know. White Forge, this is Aleph. Great job again, yet yet again, Aleph. Did you make contact with Lopez? I sure did. She's in a bit of a bind, but I was a letter to get out. Uh, I'm on my way back now. Excellent! I'll see you for your debriefing! Well, time to get back to the city then. I'm so glad you don't have to go all the way back out. Having finished her repairs, Aleph made her way out of the power plant, settling on a return to Whiteforge City. Alright, actually, we're gonna. Okay, can I save here? I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, come on. I just wanted to save and call it quits. But I don't want to do that here. But yeah, I want to call it quits here, and I'm going to do like one story section and one like gameplay section per video, I suppose. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. This is still Even the Ocean, and we'll go to Whiteford City next.